Hey y'all, it is a busy time here at Cinestill. Our crowdfunding campaign for Cinestill 400 Dynamic is over. And it's an exciting time here at the office, but it's also an equally busy one. We're trying to get 400D, Cinestill 400 Dynamic, into y'all's cameras as soon as possible, but it's a long process, so we're at hard work over here. Um, in the meantime, we're out shooting more 400D in Los Angeles at our first location out and about near the Griffith Observatory. I'm here with Brian and Brandon. Hey guys, first time shooting any new film, I like to bracket my exposure, shoot at box speed, overexpose a stop, two stops, maybe even three stops, just to kind of see what the film does and see how it handles the overexposure. And it's a good way also to kind of figure out how it works in your workflow. Um, some scanners like denser negatives, some don't. So doing that can actually get you an idea of like, I will always shoot this at plus one or box speed or whatever. I love overexposing some films to give a completely different look. Um, let's see what 400D does. So that one's gonna be a little overexposed meter for the shade. I'm gonna do a shine flu shot. So basically with this camera, you can actually do tilt, uh, vertical tilt, so I can get at the bottom of the frame my brother, and at the top of the frame have the dome in focus at the same time, but still ha execute a shallot of the field. And so I'm shooting an F4 with a 50 millimeter distagon, but uh, I'm actually getting the background in focus and the foreground in focus at the same time, even though there's a shallot of the field. So let's see how this turns out. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, I think that's gonna be sick. So let's go to the Schneider Kruznach. Let's see if that's pronounced correctly with our German audience. Let us know. 135 millimeter Super Cinelux. We actually installed an aperture in it because F2 is great a lot of the time, but not like right now. So I think we'll probably be shooting an F2.8. Well, this is a good time to test the overexposure latitude of this film. Uh, can you face me just a little bit more, but keep looking where you're looking? Yeah, there you go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Jump to F4. All right, three, two, one. Well, it was, yeah. Well, I'm doing F8 in a thousand, so. Probably perfect exposure. Ready? All right, ready? I think you're in focus, three, two, one. Cool guys don't walk together. We gotta, gotta stagger a little bit. Step back a little bit. Look back to the right here. So I'm on frame 10. Okay, so I got three shots left. I think I'll do another bracket. This is nice because we have some shade and some direct sunlight. Let's meter both and see where we average out to. All right, so I'm metering the shadows, which is where the cloud cover is, and it looks like it's EV14 uh, exposure value, and then over the city in the bright, it's a little over 15. So it's only a stop difference between cloud cover and direct sun. But let's put 15 in zone six, and 14 as middle gray. And that should do it. That gives us, uh, 11 and 500. All right, now I'll do, that was accurate exposure. Now I'll do an underexposed one. Uh, let's just go to 16 and 500. Boom. And then let's do an overexposed one. I'll do two stops over to really have a dramatic effect. 11 and 125, which should be two stops over. Go. Don't worry, we're coming, Berlin. Open shade, wedding style light. Bam. 
400 speed film is really just the sweet spot because you can shoot in broad daylight with reasonable apertures. Higher shutter speed's even better, like with the, the Nikon. Uh, you can basically shoot nearly wide open with it, but then when you get into low light, that 400 really comes in handy. This is the Sumo pose, three, two, one. Let's see if it turns out. Yeah. I really want to go down and shoot at the tunnel. Yeah, let's go try that out. Yeah, let's go shoot the tunnel because that'll show like the really deep shadows of the tunnel yeah. versus the light hitting outside the tunnel. Yeah. I think I have a cool portrait idea to do. Three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Three. So that might turn out exactly how I want or not at all because I had to move during the shot, but we're gonna scan the three photos on the roll all at once doing a camera scan. So the first photo is gonna be feet, the second one's gonna be midsection, and the last one's gonna be Brian holding the camera up. So one of those, I don't know what to call it. It's a strip of photos. Yeah, it's just a strip of three pictures. Triptych? It's a triptych yeah. of three people making the shape of one body. That's great. Now I'm just gonna open up. Next stop, we are in the Silver Lake Hills. We've got some more 400D. It is midday and we're gonna see how it performs with some beautiful midday light. And we've got Jason here to help us out. Thanks for having me, player. Shall we uh, shoot some film? Let's do it, man. <laughs> That's gotta be it. It's not a competition. Yeah, but it kinda is. Okay, in that case, yeah, speed it up real quick. Nope, wait. I'm trying my best not to swear right now. Ah, don't embarrass me like this. I need this. I need a win. Come on. <laughs> ah, balls. Right, and uh, <laughs> in true Linus fashion, I'm first. I thought that those were designed for you to load them quickly. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a speed cut of this and make it look like I know what I'm doing. To be clear, it, you made it a competition and I'm gonna edit the video, so. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be slow and drawn out, <laughs> my guy. We're ready, are you gonna shoot it at 400? I'm gonna shoot it at 320, actually. Really? Get a little bit of sweet halation, maybe some shadow detail in there, you know? What are you gonna shoot it at? I'm probably gonna shoot it at, you know what, maybe I should shoot it at 200, I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna shoot this roll at 200, yeah. That's probably enough exercise for the year, don't you think? Yeah. Daddy's gonna shoot that. Money. Have you taken a photo yet? No. My guy. I, I will start taking them. I just um. Is that that's Dolly Parton? I think right. Mm -hmm. That's her in person. This is a very LA shot. There you go. Did you get that power stance? This is gonna be one of those shots where in like 60 years, when this car is out of uh, style, it's gonna look cool. Kinda, kinda banking on it. I don't know, I thought I'd finish my roll first, but Linus is going ham. I love how there's just like one perfect cloud in the sky. There it is. There's a beautiful highlight just glistening off of it. Hmm. 
I have six more shots. What? This is the shot right here. That's the one. I wonder how often this guy sees the people shooting his car. Every hour? <laughs> yeah, probably. We finished our rolls? I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say I did, but I'm about done. <laughs> I've never shot 400D in this harsh of midday light, so super stoked to see how it turns out. Thanks for coming. Dude, yeah. Thanks for uh, having me on video and stuff. Of course. I don't know. Well, we got to get to this next shoot, so. All righty. Can you figure out a ride home, home or something? Yeah, I'll walk. Okay, bye. See ya. Henry and I are out here in K-Town. We're going to get some street shooting done. Sweet. 400D. I've got a little Nikon F2 with uh, Arvin's 17 millimeter wide angle, which is going to be very interesting to shoot with. I'm, I'm excited to get out there and uh, experiment with this thing. It's crazy. I got the Canonet today. The poor man's like a small yeah. but lethal. Let's get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You see this? See that Payless Kid store? But then you got the uh, Jiu Jitsu at $59 per month. That's a pretty interesting, uh, interesting look. Let's see if I can get it while it's like kind of windy and the wind stopped blowing. There it goes. Cool. Uh, this wide angle is really testing my abilities, bro. Um, but it's I'm really thinking about just like interesting compositions with all this street stuff. See the stripes and these two kids right here on on the game. I like like those uh, <laughs> commonalities. This wide angle's got me shooting absolutely nothing. <laughs> got another one here. It's like this uh, stuff blowing in the wind, plus this. The skyscrapers, ooh, there's my shot, and I missed it, okay. Wind's gonna come back in three, two, here we go, counting down again. There it is. It's kinda hard to talk about some of these shots that I'm taking, because they just happen so quick, but uh, shooting it at 500th of a second, you definitely catch it. Look at this fence, like all bent. A lot of times when doing street photography, people tend to shy away from it because they're like worried about what people may think and like, you know, oh, what if somebody confronts me about it? I think uh, you just gotta smile. And a lot of times if you bring up the camera to frame up a photo, like I'm photographing Colton right here. When I come down with the camera, I'm looking elsewhere little trick. Just like post up here. Three, two, one. I like how they are coupled up. Then the guy, he also had like a, a t-shirt that had like the Hellraiser on the inside. Something interesting going on here with these like flowers over this car, like just right over this car. So one of my favorite things about 400D so far and the two rolls that I've shot is that it handles really, really nicely in both the shade and in direct sunlight. And it also has just like this very specific color profile that I've never seen on any other film. So all of that together just makes it a very fun and exciting shooting experience because it's not like shooting something that, or shooting a stock that I've shot before. So I'm gonna fire one off of uh, Henry here. I think it's gonna be sick. Some clouds pulled up on us since our shoot with Henry. Now I'm downtown with B, who's an amazing fashion portrait photographer, and Jarrell, our model today. Get in frame with me real quick. And we are going to shoot some portraits on 400D, 35 millimeter. 
shall we? Let's go. Excited. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, like that. And let me do one more. This side. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Three, two. Cross your arms. One, don't blink. Cool. Thank you. Ready? One, two. Three, two, one. Got it. I know you were in pain. I'll tell you when. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Okay. I only have one more shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it though. So much yes. for coming. Thank you guys so yeah. much for having Thank me. Thank you for having me as well. Yes. Huh. I can't wait to see how these photos turn out. Thank you.